Okay, Charles is now going to demonstrate getting on and off the toilet, having entered the bathroom, making sure he's got unsuitable footwear. First of all, Charles is going to try and lower himself onto the toilet. Okay, you'll see here that Charles is grabbing onto whatever surface he can. Um, in this case, particularly the toilet roll holder. This, unfortunately, is a very common thing that people do and really it's probably one of the most dangerous things that you can do. Items like that are not intended to support any kind of body weight and will frequently come away from their surface, which can cause the user to actually fall. So Charles, the toilet is quite obviously low for you. Again, what we would be aiming for in your position or in the height of the toilet for you is that your, when your feet are on the, the ground, that your hips and knees should be pretty much in line with your hips perhaps just slightly higher. So you want to try and get up from that. So what we're going to aim to do is not use these things round about you, but to try really and get yourself up from that really under your own steam. Lean forward, push your hands up on your knees and just try and lever yourself up again, leading up with the head, looking straight ahead and up. Oops. Now, there are a number of toilet seats on the market, okay? Depending on the shape of your bowl, there are a number of different heights available. Generally, two inch or four inch is the kind of standard. This is a, a four inch one. This particular toilet seat actually attaches over the top of your existing seat. A lot of them, you actually would lift the seat and they are attached directly to the bowl. So if you want to just put, pop that in place, as I say, each one will, will fit slightly differently. It will have certain adjustments to fit securely to your existing toilet. So again, just if you want to just try it without holding on to anything now, just trying to lower yourself onto that. So you've got far less distance now to go down. Feet still securely on the ground. Hips are now slightly higher than your knees. Okay, so again, to come up from there. Okay, much easier now, much isn't easier. it? Okay, so just something simple like a raised toilet seat can just give you back that bit of independence. Okay, so another option, Charles. Um, if you were still finding that a wee bit difficult, even with the increased height to the toilet, it's just something simple like a grab rail securely attached to the wall by the toilet. Just a couple of considerations if you were to put a grab rail on. Firstly, always use a plastic grab rail in a bathroom rather than metal. Secondly, I would always encourage that you have a grab rail that's actually securely fitted to the wall by a competent DIY person or a joiner. So certainly now this has taken away the need for holding on to wash hand basins, toilet roll holders, anything like that. Okay, so you're able to sit down and you've got that rail there now, which as you can see, at that position, at that height, and particularly at that angle, that rail is still giving you that bit of extra support. So if you just want to bring yourself up to a standing position from there, Charles, you can see in that position, that rail supporting you both from the seated position to fully standing. Okay, Charles, just another option here. If um, you're either not keen or you're not sure how well you can fit a rail to your wall. These kind of toilet frames fit over your existing toilet, can be used with or without a raised toilet seat. They can just give you that extra bit of support. I guess the advantage to these is that they give you support on either side, which gives you that bit more purchase as you're demonstrating to get up and down from the toilet. These are readily available on the market. Most of them are adjustable in both height and width, which will allow them to fit to most toilets in most bathrooms.